If you're getting online fix 64.dll run code errors, especially the error code 126, chances are there are some DLL files missing from your system. Now, the first thing to do uh, in such cases is to simply restart your PC. Just press the Windows key, head all the way down to the power section, and then click on restart. Once your PC is done restarting, you should be able to get access to the DLL file. And this is often happening when you're trying to install a particular app or a program and it requires a reboot for it to run properly. The next step is to run your uh, program or a game as an administrator. So for example, if I search for, uh, let's say, Oracle Virtual Box, and this is the program that I'm getting the error in, you will see a prompt saying run as administrator. Make sure that you click on this instead of launching the app as usual because it gives the app the permissions it needs to access all of the files on your system that it needs to run properly. That doesn't fix your problem either. You're going to have to try and reinstall the Visual C++ runtime on your system. Now to do this, press Windows key plus I to head over your system settings, then head over to apps, then installed apps, and uh, just search for Visual C++ here. And you will see all of these different redistributables that are installed on your system. Now, depending on whether the app or the game or program you're trying to run is new or old, you're going to have to update specific versions of this these redistributables. So as you can see, I have 2008, 2010, 12, 13, and then 15 to 22 all installed on my system. So just go to the one that you need to update click on modify then give the prompt the permissions that it needs and this window will open up and here you can click on the repair option to reinstall the entire distributable and you should be good to go moving on you can also try downloading the dll manually yourself now i do not recommend doing this because uh, if you're downloading dll files off of random websites on the internet you're probably going to get a malware infected file which can harm your system so unless you know where you're getting the dll file from please do not do it but in case you are downloading it simply download the dll file from whichever website you prefer you can just do a google search for it i'm not going to list out websites here because it's really hard to tell which website is secure and which can give you malware once you have the dll file drop it into the root cat uh, root folder of wherever your game is installed and then try running it again last but not least you can try and uh, disable security on your system which is something that uh, can sometimes fix this problem now if you head over to privacy and security and then click on windows security right here you will have uh, a bunch of options so if you click on virus and threat protection then click on manage settings and then if you disable the real-time protection slider this can uh, help the game or the program run properly because a lot of the times microsoft detects random dll files and it thinks that they are viruses so it removes them or blocks them from running on your system now let me repeat and be very clear i do not recommend that you do this if your antivirus is flagging a file it's probably for a good reason and you should just get rid of the entire program and find an alternative because this problem is usually seen in uh, pirated software and uh, pirated software always run the risk of coming with a side of malware if you like this video consider subscribing give us a thumbs up press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you if you'd like to know more about tech visit our website candid.technology follow us on social media and if these videos don't help you out as much, do consider getting a membership. And that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.